A custom car is a passenger vehicle that has been either substantially altered to improve its performance, often by altering or replacing the engine and transmission, made into a personal styling statement, using paintwork and aftermarket accessories to make the car look unlike any car as delivered from the factory, or some combination of both. A desire among some automotive enthusiasts in the United States is to push styling and performance a step beyond the showroom floor, to truly craft an automobile of one's own. A custom car in British according to Collins English Dictionary is built to the buyer's own specifications, although the two are related, custom cars are distinct from hot rods. The extent of this difference has been the subject of debate among customizers and rodders for decades. Additionally, a street rod can be considered a custom. Custom cars are not to be confused with coach-built automobiles, historically rolling chassis fitted with luxury bodywork by specialty bodybuilders. Topic: History. A development of hot rodding, the change in name corresponded to the change in the design of the cars being modified. The first hot rods were pre-World War II cars, with running boards and simple fenders over the wheels. Early model cars 1929 were modified by removing the running boards and either removing the fenders entirely or replacing them with light cycle fenders. Later models usually had fender skirts installed. The Gow job morphed into the hot rod in the early to middle 1950s. Typical of builds from before World War II were 1935 Ford wire wheels. Many cars were hopped up with engine modifications such as adding additional carburetors, high compression heads, and dual exhausts. Engine swaps were often done, with the objective of placing the most powerful engine in the lightest possible frame and body combination. The suspension was usually altered, initially by lowering the rear end as much as possible using lowering blocks on the rear springs. Later cars were given a rake job by either adding a dropped front axle or heating front coil springs to make the front end of the car much lower than the rear. Immediately post-war, most rods would change from mechanical to hydraulic juice brakes and from bulb to sealed beam headlights. The mid-1950s and early 1960s custom juice was typically fenderless and steeply chopped, and almost all Ford or Mercury, with the 239 CU in 3920 cc flatty, introduced in 1939, a Hallibrand quick change rear end was also typical, and an Edelbrock intake manifold or Harman and Collins ignition magneto would not be uncommon. Reproduction spindles, brake drums, and backing based on the 1937s remain available today. Aftermarket flatty heads were available from Barney Navarro, Vic Edelbrock, and Offenhauser. The first intake manifold Edelbrock sold was a slingshot design for the flatty. Front suspension hairpins were adapted from sprint cars, such as the Curtis Crafts. The first Jimmy supercharger on a V8 may have been by Navarro in 1950. Much later, rods and customs swapped the old solid rear axle for an independent rear, often from Jaguar. Sometimes the grille of one make of car replaced another. The 1937 Buick grille was often used on a Ford. In the 1950s and 1960s, the grille swap of choice was the 1953 DeSoto. The original hot rods were plainly painted like the Model A Fords from which they had been built up, and only slowly begun to take on colors, and eventually fancy orange-yellow flamed hoods or candy-like deep acrylic finishes in the various colors, with the change in automobile design to encase the wheels in fenders and to extend the hood to the full width of the car, the former practices were no longer possible. In addition, tremendous automotive advertising raised public interest in the new models in the 1950s. Thus, custom cars came into existence, swapping headlamp rings, grills, bumpers, chrome side strips, and taillights as well as Frenching and tunneling head and taillights. The bodies of the cars were changed by cutting through the sheet metal, removing bits to make the car lower, welding it back together, and adding lead to make the resulting form smooth, hence the term lead sled. Bondo has since largely replaced lead, chopping made the roof lower while sectioning made the body thinner from top to bottom. Channeling was cutting notches in the floor pan where the body touches the frame to lower the whole body. Fins were often added from other cars, or made up from sheet steel. In the custom car culture, someone who merely changed the appearance without also substantially improving the performance was looked down upon. Juxtapose magazine, founded by the artist Robert Williams, has covered custom culture art. Topic. Customization style 
Certain linguistic conventions are followed among rodders and customizers. The model year is rarely given in full, except when it might be confused, so a 1934 model is a 34, while a 2005 might be an 05 or not. A 32 is usually a deuce and most often a roadster, unless coupé is specified, and almost always a Ford, now commonly on a frame rails. A 1955, 1956, or 1957 is usually a Chevrolet. A 1955, 1956, or 1957 Chevrolet is often called a Tri-5. A 3 or 5 window is usually a Ford, unless specified. A flatty is a flathead V8, always Ford, unless specified. A late or late model flatty is probably a Merc. A Hemi, Hemi E, is always a 426, unless displacement 331, 354, or 392 is specified. A 426 is a Hemi, unless wedge is specified. See baby Hemi. A392 is an early Hemi. A331 or 354 is known to be an early Hemi, but rarely referred to as such. A270 Jimmy was a 270 cubic inch GMC truck engine often used to replace a smaller displacement Chevrolet six cylinder. Units are routinely dropped, unless they are unclear, so a 426 cubic inch in three displacement engine is simply referred to as a 426, a 5 liter, liter displacement engine is a 5.0, 5.0, and a 600 cubic feet per minute CFM carburetor is a 600. Engine displacement can be described in cubic inches or liters for example, a 5.7 liter engine is also known as a 350. 350. This frequently depends on which units the user is most comfortable or familiar with. The cut-off year, as originally promoted by the National Street Rod Association NSRA, is 1949. Many custom car shows will only accept 1948 and earlier models as entries, and many custom car organizations will not admit later model cars or trucks also with some imports. This has been a gray area of what's acceptable e.g. an air-cooled VW Beetle, a Big 3 product manufactured overseas e.g. a Ford Capri built in the UK or a General Motors, Holden's product, not to mention captives, and or a vintage import automobile with an American driveline transplant but this practice is subject to change. Modern-day custom car shows which allow the inclusion of muscle cars have used the 1972 model year as the cutoff since it is considered the end of the muscle car era prior to the introduction of the catalytic converter. The NSRA has announced that starting in 2011 it will switch to a shifting year method where any owner with a car 30 years or older will be allowed membership. So in 2011 the owner of a 1981 model year vehicle will qualify, then in 2012 the owner of a 1982 model year vehicle will quality, and so on. Additionally, the Good Guys Car Show organization has moved the year limit for its rod shows from 1949 to 1954 in recent years. <laughs> Topic. Types. High riser automobile, hot rod, custom cars, lead sled, low rider, rat rod, rice burner, three window coupe. Topic: Common terms. Some other common terms: three juices. Arrangement of three two-barrel twin choke carburetors, distinct from six-pack Pontiac and Olds tri-power, also three by two arrangements. Three window, two-door coupe, so named for having rear window and one door window on each side. Three on the tree, three-speed manual transmission operated by a steering column mounted shifter. Four on the floor, four-speed manual transmission operated by a floor mounted shifter. Five window. Two door coupe, so named for having rear window plus one door window and one quarter window on each side. 97s Stromberg carburetors, a bone modeler coupe, Appletons, sometimes Appleton spots, spotlights mounted on the A pillars, similar to those used by police cars. Arden Hemi heads for the flathead, designed by Zora Arcus Duntoff. Baby moons. Chrome small smooth convex hubcaps covering the wheel lug area. Full moons covered the entire wheel. 
Barn find newly discovered vehicle typically found in storage, either long forgotten or abandoned, still in its original condition from when it was first stored. Barn fresh barn find Bignolittles large diameter rear wheels or tires, smaller diameter front ones. Blue oval Ford product for the badge. Blue dots Pontiac taillights. Any taillight equipped with a blue crystal to give it a purple-ish appearance when illuminated. Illegal in many states. Bondo. Brand name for a body filler putty, often used as a generic term for any such product. Bowtie, sometimes red bow tie. Chevrolet product for the badge. The red bow tie refers Chevrolet Motorsports logo. Bugcatcher intake. Large scoop intake protruding through hood opening, or on cars with no hood. Bullnosing. Replacing the hood ornament with a bullnose chrome strip or filling the mounting hole with lead. Cabriolet or cabrio vehicle with a removable or retractable cloth top, characterized by integrated door window frames and crank up glass. Cherry like new channeled or channeling lowering a vehicle by cutting out the floor and mounting the body lower on the frame rails. Chopped Removing a section, usually of the window posts, to lower the roof line of a vehicle. Cobra killers. Decorative wheel centers that stick out 3 to 5 in 7.6 to 12.7 centimeters and have flipper qualities for more visual attraction. Convertible. Retractable top car with no integral door window frames like the cabriolet. Has roll-up glass in doors as opposed to roadsters that do not. CID. Sometimes cubic inches or inches. Cubic inches displacement Crank Crankshaft Cutouts Stub exhaust pipes installed behind the front wheels that allow uncapping for noise and power. In the 1950s were home made from gas tank filler necks with gas caps and water pipes with screw-on caps. Dagmars Large front bumper Bullets Named for the actress Deck To remove trunklet handle and trim Deck Trunklet handle and trim removed. Deuce. 32 Ford, most often a roadster, now commonly on a frame rails rarely, 1932 model of any manufacturer. Chevy 2 Nova. Duval windshield. A V-shaped windshield with a center post, as opposed to the typical stock straight across type. Elephant. Chrysler 426 Hemi, see baby Hemi. Fat Fender. 1934-48 U.S. car Flatty Flathead engine usually refers to a Ford, when specified, the Mercury-built model Fordilac For Dilac Ford with transplanted Cadillac V8 engine French Antenna sunken into the body or fender Headlights slightly sunken into fender Taillights slightly sunken into body or fender Genie Genuine Hairpins, radius rods, hiboy or highboy, fenderless, but not lowered distinct from gasser. Hopped up, modified to increase performance. Humpback or hump, late 1930s sedans with a prominent trunk. Inches, Sid, Indian also, Tin Indian, Pontiac for the grill badge. Jimmy, usually GMC straight six. Any GMC product, such as a compressor used on two-stroke diesel engines used as a supercharger. Jugs, multiple carburetors, no longer common. Juice brakes, hydraulic brakes. Lead sled, customized vehicle where lead has been melted and adhered to a metal body to smooth its surface, as filler. Lead has since been replaced by Bondo. Lakes pipes. Straight exhaust pipes that run along the lower edge of a rod, typically near the rocker panels, without mufflers. The name comes from their original use on cars used on dry lakes by land speed racers. Lowboy or low boy, low boy, fenderless and lowered. Mag Magnesium wheel, or steel or aluminum copy resembling one such. Magneto Mill Any internal combustion engine on such a vehicle. Moons or moon discs, incorrectly, moon discs, plain flat chrome or aluminum hubcaps, originally adopted by land speed racers. Smaller examples are baby moons, named for Dean Moon. Mouse, small block Chevy. Nailhead, 
early Buick V8, named for relatively small diameter valves. Nerf bars, bumper horns, NOS, new old stock, original manufactured part, never installed, often in original packaging. Nosed, hood trim removed. Phaeton, four doctor roadster, also called a touring. Phantom, body style or trim never built by the original manufacturer, a term also adopted by model kit builders. Pinched rails. Deuce frame rails narrowed under a Model A, which has a narrower front body. Pot carburetor, commonly used for two barrels. QJ quadrajet, Rochester four barrel. QJet quadrajet. Ragtip convertible or roadster. Rake job, car with suspension modified to lower the front end. Rat Chevrolet big block. Repop reproduction, not NOS. Resto — restoration, or restored Roadster — two-door with removable or retracting top, and no roll-up side glass Rockcrusher — Muncie M22 four-speed transmission Rocket — Oldsmobile, in particular their early V8s. A reference to the Mark's logo. Sabrina's Britain — bumper bullets, similar to Dagmar's. Named for British actress Norma Sykes. Sabrina SBC — Chevrolet small block engine SBF — small block Ford, usually one of the Ford Windsor engines Sectioning — removing an entire horizontal section of the body or top to bottom. Not to be confused with chopping Shaved — removing at least the door handle, possibly other side trim Shoebox — 49 54 Ford or 1955-57 Chevrolet for the slab-sided appearance Skirts — covers installed on the openings on rear fenders Slantback — sedan with forward angled but straight rear window and sheet metal. Also referred to as slick back, slicky, smooth back, smoothie. Distinct from straight back. Also see humpback. Smoothies — chrome steel wheels with no brake vent holes. Usually with baby moons or spiders. Sombreros — 47 51 Cadillac hubcaps Souped, souped up, hopped up, performance improved, more common in 1940s and 1950s. Spiders, decorative chrome insert covering the bearing grease cover and lugs nuts. Spinner knob, egg-sized knob mounted on the steering wheel to assist rapid turning, also suicide knob. Steelies, stock steel rims. Stock, original equipment. Stone stock. All original, usually referring to a project starting condition, unmodified. 53 Merc with a stone stock 350. Stove bolt, Chevy straight six. Straight back, sedan with vertical rear window and sheet metal. Known as square back in the VW community. Street rod, a modified car licensed for use on streets and highways. Studilac. Studilac. Studebaker with transplanted Cadillac V8 engine Taildragger — lowered more in the rear than front. Often seen on lead sleds. Often a regionalized trend. Tin Indian — Pontiac for the grill badge Tire lettering — a tire modification that allows you to put letters and writing or colors like red, yellow, or blue in the place of the white strip on traditional whitewall tires. Toploader — Ford four-speed manual transmission Touring — Phaeton Track T — Model T Roadster built in the style of a dirt track race car Trailer Queen — Pejorative term for pure show cars which are never driven Tri-5 — 1955, 1956, or 1957 Chevrolet Tuck and Roll — Upholstery technique creating a pleated look Tunneled — Deeply sunken into fender V-butted or V-butted with windshield center post deleted, original panes meeting in the middle, distinct from fitting a one-piece windshield, or to make such a change. The windshield was V-butted. He V-butted the windshield. Vicky, Victoria body style. Wide whites, wide stripe white wall tires, typical of the 1950s, as opposed to modern ones. Woody, 
Typically a station wagon manufactured by most of the major manufacturers where much of the body behind the firewall was replaced with wood construction. Some terms have an additional, different meaning among hot rodders than among customizers. NOS, for instance, is a reference to nitrous oxide, rather than new old stock. <laughs> Gallery <laughs> See also